Built into all iOS devices with front-facing cameras is a feature called FaceTime, which is a video chatting feature that lets you and the person you're calling both see and hear each other. It's a great way to have a face-to-face -face conversation, show someone where you're calling them from, or just to see a friend's expression when you share some cool news with them. Now, in order to use FaceTime, both callers have to be on an iOS device with a front-facing camera, and both callers need to be connected to either a Wi-Fi network, or in the case of the iPhone, FaceTime also works over cellular connections as long as your provider has allowed it. The video will generally look better over Wi-Fi connections, though. But other than making sure you have a device with a front-facing camera and an internet connection, no setup is required to use FaceTime. It's available by default, but you might want to go into your settings and FaceTime and make sure FaceTime is turned on. Now, there are a couple of different ways to initiate a FaceTime conversation. One way is to start with a regular phone call. I can go into my phone app, and here are my favorites. I'll call my friend Rose. And again, this is just a regular phone call. OK, so we can see that Rose has now answered, and the FaceTime button has now become available. So I can tap FaceTime. Hey, Rose, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for participating in this example for us. No problem. All right, so this is now a FaceTime chat. I'm looking at Rose, she's looking at me, and we can basically just talk to each other face to face now. Now, there are a couple of different things you can do while you're in a FaceTime chat. First of all, you can change your orientation of your device. So if we want to go widescreen here, we can both do that. And you can see her orientation is rotated too as she rotated her phone. Another thing we can do is we can tap the screen to get some buttons. And you can see I can switch to my front-facing camera here. So if I wanted to show Rose, say, this conveniently placed basket of fruit here, we can do that. I know she's very impressed with that. And she can do the same thing on her end. Here's a drawing. And she's sketching a pumpkin and having some tea or coffee. So these are just some things that you can do while you're in a call. So you can show the person you're calling where you are or something interesting that you're seeing where you are, things like that. Um, some other things you can be doing, notice we also have a mute button here. So I can tap mute. So she can no longer hear me and the video has been paused on her end, but we're still connected. So this might be useful if somebody walks into the room and I need to talk to them. I can just mute my phone on this end, finish my conversation, then get back to Rose by unmuting. Uh, something else you can do, you can also multitask. If I press my home button, Maybe I need to look up a contact for Rose or look at my schedule uh, to get her some information. Notice we have this green bar across the top of the screen that says touch to resume FaceTime. So I can touch that, and it takes me back into the conversation. Hi again. Hey. All right, so let me switch back to my front facing camera here. Oh, by the way, you can also move your own thumbnail on the screen like this if necessary. So if it's covering part of what uh, the person you're talking to shows us, you can move that around a little bit. All right, I'm going to hang up now. I'm going to call Rose back in just a minute, but that's going to be the end of this particular part of the conversation. So I'll talk to you in a second. Bye. See you later. So one way to make a FaceTime call is to start with a regular phone call and then pressing the FaceTime button once the call has been connected. But you can also initiate a FaceTime call right away by using the FaceTime app. Here you have a favorite section, so you can call people that you frequently call on FaceTime. We can go to Recents. Or you can go right to your contacts to find contacts here to call. I see Rose here under my recent, so I'll just tap her name again. And this is what it sounds like when you try to initiate a FaceTime call right away. And there she is again. Hello again. Hey again. So that's how to initiate a FaceTime call from the FaceTime app. Thanks, Rose. No problem. <laughs> see ya. All right, so those are two ways you can initiate FaceTime calls, either from a direct phone call or from the FaceTime app itself. Now let's see what it looks like when you get a FaceTime call. Hi again. Hello. So what you saw there was I got the decline or the accept button. So it's not like somebody can FaceTime call you and see your camera right away. You have to be able to accept the call on your end in order to uh, finish initiating the call. But that's pretty much what it looks like when somebody calls you on FaceTime. Thanks again, Rose. No problem. See, see you later, guys. Now, in addition to working with iOS devices, FaceTime also works on Macs running OS X Snow Leopard or later. It's built into all new Macs, and you can also purchase FaceTime for $0.99 cents on the Mac App Store. 
Once it's installed, you'll be able to call your friend's iOS devices as well as other Macs from your computer. Calls to and from your Mac are tied to your Apple ID and to any email addresses you've associated with your FaceTime account. You can also associate email addresses with your FaceTime account on your iOS device, so whenever someone attempts to FaceTime with you, both your Mac and your iOS device will ring, and you'll have the choice of answering either one. To do this on your device, go to Settings, FaceTime, and here, if you've already entered your Apple ID onto your device, you can just tap Use Your Apple ID for FaceTime, or if you need to enter your Apple ID, you can tap Add an Email, and then enter your ID and password here. And once you set that up, friends using FaceTime on their Macs will be able to contact you using this address. And that's the FaceTime feature, available on all iOS devices with a front-facing camera and on any Mac with FaceTime and a camera.